Hello, hello, hello. I am retrieving my packages from the front porch during my break and thought, well, guess what? I haven't chatted to the camera in a minute, so let's do that. This says it's from Sephora and I don't recall ordering anything from Sephora recently, so it's a surprise. So, oh, Sephora events. Did I go to a Sephora event? I go to them every so often. They, um, they have, um, when you're an insider, oh my God, the hair, they send you some, um, invites to just random, like brand sponsored things that cost you like a hundred of your bonus points, which is cheap. And I've gotten, um, several things over the last couple of years being parts of them i usually i have a little dish on my desk here which is filled right now otherwise i'd pick it up um i've gotten a, a umbrella i've gotten just like a water bottle just random just whatever promotional stuff so this apparently oh i know what okay i can guess now what event it is so i went to the floor um, event, their fragrance event. And I had not tried any of their fragrances before. Not your baby, floral, spicy, cardamom, bergamot, mimosa, violet, vanilla, milk, sandalwood, tonka bean. So I was trying to ask them what, um, what are their more gourmand scents. And I just got an email from Nordstrom's that it's not spring that um they're carrying this brand now as well there it goes oh that's interesting it's clean but it's it's very interesting it says not your baby is an undeniably sexy intriguing and addictive spicy floral it smells really sweet though i don't really smell too much floral maybe it um the vanilla is really like overpowering it now let's sit for a minute and see what i think this is a hat oh my god that's this is funny it has little like makeup on the inside i almost want to it's like i think it's reversible I want to, um, <laughs> wear it like from the, the white side out. That's so cute. Is it reversible? Let's see. I think it is. All the seams are, are sewn. So, oh, how cute. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's sweet. Nice. So yeah, just has an embroidered Sephora there on the one side in black. That's cute. See, higher bonus points. I I have a lot of bonus points. And sometimes I'm just like, there's nothing I want to redeem it for. So just this random little event, a little gift. I think that's cute. That's awesome. Good morning. Dolly and Boo are at the groomers, so I thought I would take a little bit of time to not bother brushing my hair or doing anything, but I'm going to organize an area of the makeup counter, fragrance counter, all that area that you don't normally see and show you a little bit of insight um, into another collection I have that I'm really obsessed with. You might not know about, but I am pretty obsessed with nail polish. And right now my brand of choice is Hollow Taco and I have a whole, whole lot of it. So I've got to figure out some way to get it under control, know what I have, stop ordering more and duplicates and so on. So I'm going to tackle that right now.
still don't have everything out. So I put all the toppers and the special um, collection, like the birthday polishes that have come out back there. My These are my base coats and uh, glossy tacos. Those don't have any place to go. These are some other special collections that don't have any place to go, but I haven't opened them yet. So like a couple of these I haven't opened yet. I want to leave them in their boxes in case I wanted to pass them on to someone else so that I just knew that they're not, um, they haven't been used yet. So coming over here, I went ahead and emptied out the collection boxes that I could that have been used. These still have, um, this is the 2021 um, limited edition colors and all of them are still in their boxes. I think I've used one of them, but because I like the setup of this, I might put it somewhere else. So I wanna leave that intact. Um, and then Sophia's collection, I've only used a couple of them. So I have them actually out already on the um, rack up there. And then of course the nail file is still in here. So I'm leaving that one pretty much intact, but I need to, of course, stop buying. So there's the nail polishes at least. Now I gotta tackle that mess over there, which is all the fragrances and everything. So we will figure it out. Okay, so basically what we have are the um, metallics back there and the glitters. And then the next row, more glitters. Start on the cremes and I have a lot of purple, as you can tell. And then I have one glitter purple that hasn't been opened yet, so that's there. More crumbs down here, most of the tea collection. And then we'll start with the classics. Milky White, um, Royalty Blue, Shady Navy. I don't know what that one is. Um, one Coat Black. If you don't have One Coat Black and you love black nail polish, you you have, this is the best nail polish on the planet. So you need one coat black. And then this is a metallic that requires a special coat underneath it. It's a foil and you have to use this quick dry base with it, which kind of annoys me, but um, so you have to have those two together, but otherwise everything else is um, mixy matchy. And over here, you know, we got all the birthday and special edition policies. Um, Menchi the cat back there, um, all the top coats. So we've got like the solar, um, the unicorn skins basically. And then the original linear and, um, which one's this one? Flaky, flaky top coat. So all of the originals in there to mix and match to your heart's content although i seem to be pretty much all about pinks purples blues and blacks so i kind of live here which is interesting because you think with my nails but i'm having like some nail issue right now so a lot of them are breaking i've been leaving them there's the damage leaving them to try to strengthen up and i'll go back to wearing um, basically crumbs, one coat black with a top coat and let them heal for a little while. But yeah, this is my ob other obsession along with handbags and everything else. So... Her doll is just called a very traumatic experience at the rumor. She's having a little bit of trouble calming down. She's doing her best. She's just. <laughs> She's trying to make the best of it, but she's really, she's hyperventilating. It's, it's not good. But she's so pretty and she's so good. Yes, you are, Mama. You're the best little baby. You're so funny. Good morning. It has been a minute since I've vlogged. I'm a little grayer, a little older. It's end of March and uh, yeah, 
it was my birthday month, so a little bit older. I'm heading actually right now to a meet my friend. She's buying me lunch for my birthday late. I just hadn't had time to, to meet her, so I'm driving about an hour north to meet her near her place. And um, yeah, we'll see what we chat about because we usually chat for several hours and then head home and see what else we've, we've got to do. Okay, so that went way faster. The drive went way faster than I anticipated. So I've got like 15 minutes to kill before my friend gets here. So I'm just sitting in the parking lot kind of sitting around. Um, haven't been a whole lot of things going on. So I've been working a whole lot, which is all you ever hear me talk about, but I'm getting really burnt out. So I'm looking for another job. Um, I'm even looking possibly for a demotion because this, um, the type of work I'm in, I'm an exempt employee, which if I am you know, it's going down the rabbit hole. Basically, exempt means that your salary and you work as many hours as they want you to for um, to get the work done. And everything is a hot fire all the time. So it's like, no matter how much you try to get on top of work, they keep piling and piling and piling more work on you. And they don't hire enough staff, so they're just like, "Well, it's just the workload." I'm like, "No, you you know this workload's coming. Um, it's basically funding. Like, it doesn't just happen. It takes months to get the funding, and then you're like moving forward. So, let's say the the work is in the works for a significant amount of time before it lands and is able to be actionable. So. It's, it's like they specifically siphon it to never stop and never have enough support. So they plan for, you know, the workload, but they don't plan enough staff to cover the workload. So sure, they can make the justification to get all the money in the world to fund the project or fund the... It's, it's a first world problem, you know, kind of thing. It's like, I have too much work and I get paid well. And I basically am being told that, you know, we pay you well, so shut up. It's just frustrating. Anyway, wow, wow, wow. I am doing that. I'm trying to find another position that is more structured to 40 hours and do that. Um, but unfortunately, Stefan lost his job. So there's that, which I know I've mentioned it before that I've structured our, my life to, I'm the breadwinner. I, it does it, it, it's just kind of like the cushion money and that just puts more stress on life because the cushion is no longer there. So anywho, it's been a great month. <laughs> so I ordered myself a birthday gift and because I'm platinum, they send you a birthday gift in, in addition. This is new to me. Um, I haven't received a Dior box like this usually it's a flat kind of box um that you zipper open and then um it's a really generic box like shipping box and then inside you know they've got the receipt kind of thrown in there which is it used to come in an envelope and then I've got a tiny box, which what I assume is the products, a bunch of tissue, and then that's in plastic, which I assume is the, yeah, it's the platinum gift. 
with compliments. See, normally this all comes really nicely packaged in a big Dior box. I'm, uh, I hope Dior isn't I mean, I've got a ton of the boxes. Like, I need the boxes, but those are like all my Dior boxes down there. I've got some over there too. Um, I hope Dior is not going the way of some of the other luxury houses that are just kind of throwing stuff in in a box and calling it good. I mean, Grant, this wasn't a very big. This is probably like a hundred and some odd dollars in makeup that I bought but it, I mean I buy it for the packaging I'll be honest I buy it for the packaging so yeah I'm kind of kind of disappointed but let's let's open it up Silver Glow Maximizer and Skin Glow uh, bonus sample of Miss Dior. I believe these are just some deluxe samples. Pickles and then Misty Or Eau de Parfum, Misty Or Rose and Roses, J'adore, L'Adore, L'Or, excuse me, and Blue Bouquet. So a whole bunch of Misty Or. And then this one was Eau de Parfum as well, regular Eau de Parfum. So nice little freebies. You get your little dust bag, which is always cute. This one is, if I remember correctly, rosy. I was trying to remember which looks a lot more peach than I thought it was going to be. I remember they have a peach tone and I was gonna go with that, but one of the more pinky ones for that. Interesting. And then Forever Skin Glow in 1.5 N which now that I think about it, I probably should have gone back to my 2CR because um, I'm gonna ha have a little bit of color. But this is a good winter tone. So I will try it out. If it doesn't work, I will buy the 2CR for the summer and then go back to this next winter. Yeah, that's like way more copper. And Rosie, I am not, I'm not a fan at all. Ladies, 
You have a bone. You're ha you're happy camper. Are you a happy camper? You're gonna steal that bone from her? Yeah. Is that your is that your job? To steal the things? Uh, ma'am, the shoes are not are not yours. Lord.